This one's about R22A. It's a replacement for R22. Now I've got a jug of it here. And you say, what? That's propane? Hmm. Same thing. I don't care what they call it, it's still propane. It's a flammable gas that we use in heating torches and homes and RVs and everything. Okay, uh, they say it's purified, it's got some additive of this and additive of that and so on. Uh, last I knew, the EPA was not recognizing R22A or propane as a refrigerant. Now this stuff is, they say, oh, it's so much more efficient, 30%, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's a refrigerant, it actually works. And it doesn't have any uh, ozone depletion or global warming except for the CO2 that comes off after it's burned. But uh, the EPA, this is in the United States, has not recognized it. Now the last time I looked, see I'd look at their, uh, these companies that make different things like this, I'd look at their uh, websites now and then, and I don't remember ever seeing their website saying anything about the EPA or anything like that. I did just notice that their website is now saying it can only be used in uh, standalone refrigeration units. That means no split systems, nothing like that, uh, small refrigerators and the like. Uh, so, okay. Now, I know the Aussies use, I think they use propane in their cars. Uh, there's butane and there's propane, I believe, used in Europe. Uh, in Europe, very small applications, it, as far as I know, you guys can call me and tell me, or email me and tell me, uh, if I'm full of crap on this, but I've seen them use it in household refrigerators for like a half a pound, and it's probably safe there. So, why can't we use propane in air conditioners? We put propane in, uh, in homes to heat their home, heat the, heat the house, heat hot water. And that's absolutely true. However, the propane we bring into the house it was, is at 11 inches of water column, which is about a third of a pound. This stuff at about 70 degrees is about 120 pounds. Now, if I had a leak, and it was leaking at 11 inches water column, it would leak out a certain amount. There's a pretty good chance if that same leak had 120 up to 250 pounds, if it's running, of pressure, I think maybe it's going to leak a little faster. Propane is heavier than air. That means it goes to the bottom of things. Like natural gas, it's lighter than air and it actually goes up. It tends to dissipate when it goes up. When it goes down, it doesn't. It tends to concentrate. So. Uh, to me, very bad idea, very bad idea to put propane into uh, a home for like air conditioning, whatever. Uh, it's just not worth the risk, and there is a real risk, especially if I'm taking an old R22 unit and say, well, gee, it's out of juice, I'll just put R22A in it. Well, it's got a leak, dummy. If it's got a leak, it's going to keep leaking unless you found the leak. So, I, I'm not real thrilled with this stuff. I, I realize all the crapola they tell you. They say, well, it's, uh, uh, it's no more flammable than R22 mixed with oil. That is true. Well, it's not true, but R22, if it's mixed with vaporized oil, will burn. It won't burn like propane. But... R22 is not flammable. It does break down into poisonous uh, components if it's burnt. But uh, to claim that R22 is flammable 
as flammable as this stuff is just a lie. It's not true. Uh, I've dealt with a lot of fires from, you know, taking out compressors and stuff like that. You don't have all the refrigerant out. And, yeah, sometimes you'll get some oil that catches on fire if you get it really hot. It's not a real huge deal. It's, you know, I mean, it's like any fire, but uh, chances are it burns a little bit and then goes out. Propane will burn. And I guess if you want to use it, uh, be sure your life insurance is paid up.